Hey church, uh, just want to give you a quick update in the middle of the week here. It's uh, the week after Easter, always kind of an interesting week in the church world, obviously interesting in a different way uh, this year, uh, but want to say a couple things. In fact, just three things today. Uh, one, what an awesome opportunity we had this Good Friday and Easter, had a great time worshiping together virtually, saw a lot of really great connections. If you're a guest, maybe you're hearing this message as well. Uh, just want to thank you. Thank you for blessing us by letting us invest in you, spend some time with you. What a, what a cool thing that was. I uh, saw really a lot of people enjoying uh, the sermon and, and the worship through Facebook Live and through YouTube. If you missed it, you can still get on now. It's okay that it's Thursday and not Sunday or later in the week, not Sunday. That's, that's fine. It's there for you. You can find it on our YouTube channel. Uh, search FBC Darlington on YouTube. You can also go back, find it on our Facebook page. I would love for you to stay connected to that. Uh, also, kind of along with that, we're continuing to really look for and, and find opportunities to share the love of Christ with you, uh, share the love of Christ with our community. And so, if there's anything that we can do for you, anything we can help with, uh, you feel like, hey, this would be a great place for the church to facilitate uh, some, some care or some needs in the community, go ahead, shoot me an email, nick at fbcdarlington.com. I uh, would love to just find more and more ways that we can be a, a place of hope, caring for our community, because ultimately we carry the hope that is Jesus Christ. What an awesome thing that is. Uh, second, wanted to just uh, quickly give you an update on where we're at financially in our giving. I know that that's a concern for you. If, you, if you're one of our guests, listen, we're not going to appeal or, or plead for you to give money. That's not what we're about here, uh, because we believe that giving is a heart issue, not necessarily a money issue, first and foremost. And so uh, we have a lot of our people who, who passionately desire to do that as a form of their worship, uh, and we're excited about that. Uh, I know that as everything changes, that becomes a little bit of a nerve-wracking thing. I know we kind of had some conversations, even in leadership levels, okay, what is this going to look like? Let's trust the Lord for that. Uh, I want to let you know, things have been really good. Uh, honestly, our, our giving hasn't shown really a drop-off at all. You can continue to mail in checks through your regular giving. I uh, would love for you to do that. I want you to continue to be intentional, joyful, and generous in the way that you give so that we might move that out into the community for the sake of the gospel, really caring for people in this time. Uh, but also want you to know that that that's happening right now, uh, and so don't don't feel stressed or worried about that. Uh, we're not stressed and worried about it. We're excited about what the Lord is doing and desiring to continue to do that uh, because what a cool way to praise His church in the way that you're responding in that. And so I want to say thank you. I want to tell you to keep at it. Uh, if you have questions about the giving or questions about the finances deeper than that, you can always reach out to me. I would be happy to kind of work through some of those with you and let you know about what's going going on. Uh, lastly, I want to just ask you to join uh, myself, join our elders and our leaders in praying uh, for the church and for direction in the weeks to come. One of the things we're realizing in this time is that uh, we, we long to be a place that is not only virtual, right? We long to bring people back together and at some point that's going to happen and there's a lot of question marks as to what that's going to look like, how that's going to look, when it's going to be, and, and when we're going to be able to do that. And so we're praying through and kind of working on this sort of balance between planning and remaining flexible so that we might see God continue to work and we might look for opportunities to share uh, in fellowship, in community, in in any way, shape, or form that is. So in the meantime, we want you to stay connected to us virtually, stay connected to the Zoom calls, and then just be intentional in praying for good, godly direction in what comes next, how do we plan, how do we respond, and how will we, in flexibility, look to continue to be his church in community with one another. Uh, and so exciting things around the corner uh, and upcoming. I'm, I'm convinced of it that we're going to have some really cool stuff than ways for us to reach people with the gospel, ways to care for one another, ways to be his church. And so I uh, want to not leave those just uh, dormant or reactionary alone, but that we would be a people that are praying that God would guide us in this. We love you, church. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Uh, stay diligent with us in prayer and have an awesome week.